This is the Chartist pole from Genus Tech. It is a carbon fiber pole that basically works as a jib but can extend to a really long one, so making you able to shoot from those angles you normally wouldn't get to. Or even as an option to a drone, especially as camera drones are becoming more and more restricted, this pole could potentially be an option to getting some of those shots. So very much like a boom, but made for cameras, so making it easy to attach and adjust your cameras onto it. This model is called the production pole. It can extend to 6 meters, uh, folds down to minimum size 1 meter, and weighs 1.77 kilos. One of my fears before getting this was that it would be too heavy, so I was quite relieved that it was under 2 kilos. Uh, not so heavy to carry around, but it is quite long, so it doesn't fall into any of my tripod bags, but if you get this uh, from higher camera, they will include a long enough tripod bag for you to put it in. You attach the camera at the top. I've used this with the DJI Osmo, but you can also use it with the GoPro or another small camera. Depending on how much you'll be moving around, I would definitely recommend you to use something with an inbuilt stabilizing system unless you're just looking to keep it steady on the spot. You can get some amazing shots with this, high and low, and being able to get to those places without any more hassle than the extension of a pole just opens up to a whole new world. But it is a workflow that you have to be aware of and that you have to plan for. Thinking that this would be incredibly easy, I thought I could just add this to my kit on my documentary shoots and throw it up whenever I needed a nice overview shot. But being a solo shooter, it's incredibly stressful to change kit in the middle of a shoot, and I felt like I didn't have enough hands to make this work. Uh, especially as I, I monitor the Osmo on uh, the phone, and there's nowhere to place the phone onto this pole. So unless you rig it to a tripod in front of you, or have someone helping you holding it, or uh, find an incredibly convenient spot right at the place where you want to take your shot, there is no way to monitor your shot. And I definitely need both hands on this when I'm operating it, because extending it to several meters makes it really heavy. So for me, this doesn't work as an add-on to my kit as a solo shooter. But if you're more than one person, or if you're heading out with the sole purpose of shooting with the charter's pole, you can get some great shots. And it's the kind of footage that can really add value to production. If you think about your alternatives, drone, a jib, or a crane, I would say this is the simplest and most price-worthy way of getting those shots. And it's really simple to use, so I would definitely recommend it to use it with something like the Osmo that will keep your shots very stable, and if you're stronger than me, they will be even more stable. <laughs> <laughs>